knowing about about all right okay thank you thank you okay bye So I'm getting pretty bad packet loss right now. Uh, to explain what you're looking at, I'm just using a program called Ping Plotter to ping my uh, router, modem, Comcast, and Google. You can see those charts down here. These red blips are packet loss. Uh, router, modem, Comcast, Google. This is Behind that window is the spectrum analyzer of my brand new SB8200 sitting right there. There's my Google Wi-Fi. Um, that SB8200 was replaced just three days ago. It's a brand new one out of the box. Bought it from Walmart. Um, that replaced my three-year-old SB8200, same model from 2017. Okay, so right now I've got my four Doxis upstream channels humming away just fine. Uh, the data that you're seeing on flowing through here right now is actually the phone I'm holding is uploading to uh, Google Photos right now. Um, and about two minutes ago, we had like 45 seconds of bad packet loss. Another three minutes ago, we had pretty bad packet loss. Um, if I zoom out to six hours today, this whole morning was pretty good. Um, and then probably in the last 45 minutes here, it's gone bad. Okay, so see how the spectrum analyzer is frozen. I've done nothing. My modem Wi-Fi is happy. Nothing else is going on in my network. But if I zoom in right now to the very end of the ping plotter, show like five most recent minutes, there you go. Big blip of packet loss. Um, didn't see anything upstream on the, the spectrum analyzer. I was hoping that I could see something uh, on the analyzer itself during those times that I was getting packet loss. Um, I don't know how TAPS and uh, RF and DOCSIS networks really work, so I don't know if I can see other upstream ingress um, because the TAPS probably designed in a way that blocks the RF from other neighbors coming towards my house, so I can't see what the CMTS can see, obviously, on my end. Um, but I thought I'd take a look, see if like home PNA or any other kind of weird ingress is happening. But I don't think I can really see that with this kind of a tool. During moments of packet loss, um, I've tried to do a lot of refreshes on the modem status page to see if the upstream power levels um, get any majorly different. Um, but I haven't seen that. Again, downstream packet loss and correctables isn't really that bad. My OFDMA channel, it, that's kind of normal out here. I mean, it's got numbers that big when it's working too, so I never really pay much attention to that. Here we have the jack that Comcast installed about 13 months ago. It shoots straight through an external wall. I'll show you the drop in a second. This coax inside the house is completely unhooked in my attic. None of that's connected anywhere. Uh, there's no splitters anything inside. This jack from Comcast from outside comes directly up and into this brand new SB8200 here. Excuse the mess, I'm fixing that old soundbar. And this SB8200 connects right up to my Google Wi-Fi and then from that Google Wi-Fi we've got a switch which goes to uh, IKEA Smart Light Hub Wise Camera Hub, Xfinity Flex, um, and then of course Wi-Fi from there for everything else. Okay, outside here's the same tab from Comcast I just showed you on the inside. Comes out, goes up my house. There's no incredibly sharp bends that I can tell. And that goes up and under my eaves. Sorry, I'm making you guys dizzy. Runs along the eaves all the way to the mocha filter and the drop goes to my pole. As best I can tell, signal comes from this direction, and that is a 23 tap. Three customers are hooked up to it. Okay, I've gone insane. Welcome to my new outdoor office. It's great out here. Actually, 
the state's not on fire, so things are better in that regard. So, same kind of scenario, um, packet loss to Comcast and Google. Um, this is when everything was set up normally inside. I yanked everything out, plugged in out here. Here's the modem. Goes up directly into that mocha filter I was talking about earlier, which goes straight to the tap. That's the number 23 tap. The fourth port is capped off. I saw the cap when I looked at it closer. To eliminate my electric utility as any kind of conflict, uh, the modem is being powered right now by my APC, which is not plugged into the grid, making its own power. This is not normally plugged into this. Um, this is normally plugged straight into the wall, so this is not to blame normally. Packet loss still. I have zero more things I can eliminate from my premise other than this one piece of RG6. Um, that was used for an older Comcast install. I mean, I can try yanking that mocha filter out and see what happens. It's not the mocha filter. That has been removed. Uh, still seeing lots of packet loss. The dummy data load that I put on this is me streaming to nobody and just a YouTube video. Um, but we're still seeing quite a bit of packet loss. And then, oh, also the status page for anyone's curious right now. Power levels are pretty good. No uncorrectables. Upstream power seems pretty good too. Now what's driving me insane is when I'm on Xfinity Wi-Fi, my neighbor's Wi-Fi or somebody's, the the issue seems to go away. There's no packet loss down there for Google or Comcast. Now, that side of the street's underground. And that's on our different node than this side and these houses on that side of the pole, which I'm on the above ground side. So, I'm only assuming with the signal that's, well, still pretty weak, but I mean, the houses on the other side are further away than uh, those ones. Those houses are a lot closer, but I don't have any way of really determining for sure. So, typical. Modem rebooted itself. It lost sync um, all on its own. I didn't unplug it. Unfortunately, this packet loss is pretty detrimental to my ability to work. Um, I'm just trying to save a PDF back to my work network right now. Um, this is my work laptop. I connect over a VPN. Um, but when I've got this packet loss, obviously, like, upload data was nice and happy, and then poof, packet loss, it just, it, it kills the VPN. It takes it a good 20 seconds to kind of re-get its bearings after the packet loss happens. And when this packet loss can happen in cycles, 20 seconds long, three or four times a minute, it basically just yields me with a, a nothing. Um, this is like a 22 megabyte PDF. It's actually a pretty big report. Um, this packet loss where I'm good, packet loss, good, again, um, back and forth several times a minute is seriously a hindrance to... Okay, so I was downloading a file at about 100 megabits a second, then packet loss kicked in again, it died entirely. I can still stream YouTube in general, it'll drop down in quality in a few seconds, but I'm just trying to download a one gigabyte up update file to uh, my video editing program and see here you go I've gone back up to 100 megabits per second dropped have 100 megabits a second again dropped these will always coincide with packet loss and I got a little bit of data and then drop now no data um, as you can see I'm up and down full speed to no speed literally every 10 to 20 seconds and oh there it goes dumped cannot entirely and then you see another packet loss blip 
and then it ramped back up to full speed again, dumped again.